Okay, for our next high school project, we're going to do a watercolor mixed media project, and it's going to be based on the artist Cindy Dar and her blog, The Slumbering Herd. She does a group of artist trading cards. They're called The Dogs Project. And basically, it's um, a group of cards that it's a, the theme is ever, a dog for everyone and for everyone a dog and she takes um the subject is dogs and basically she has she draws them and she draws them very stylized so um what she does if you want to get a closer look is she takes like you know basic characteristics of a dog and if you look at these you can pretty much tell what breed they are just by the characteristics of the dog you know a schnauzer a uh Oh, I, I can't even think of what some of these dogs are, but you can tell just by the characteristics, you know, a little poodle, a little chihuahua, what they're, what the dog is. And then she does, oh, here's a little, a little Frenchie, but then she gives them personality through how she stylizes it. And then she uses very fanciful patterns and colors just to give them that, like, um, I would say fantasy look to them, plus just, just a stylized look. So everything about it is it tells it gives her dogs like a personality, tells a story, and their their vibrant colors, their fanciful patterns, uh, they have human characteristics, um, both visually and just the quality of the picture. So she also has, and this is like she does like hundreds of cards and each of them have a story to them so not only does she do the dog but like here's three dogs and their names are pete green simon and nelly and she tells a story for them so like here it's like pete green is an amical fellow most known for his famous eyebrows which tend to lead to a lot of expressiveness in his face he is a champion reader for small groups of puppies recent titles include phantom toll booth and princess bride so you can tell just by what she adds to it, she has a story and then she gives those human characteristics to the picture itself. You know, this next one is Simon. He's a director of a thriving community garden and he actually has like flowers on his um, face. So the pattern reads, gives to the um, story itself. As a puppy, he was forced to work in the garden because he destroyed something. You know, so she has a story and then the personality of that dog through the story comes out in the in the artwork. Um, Nellie is a crafty dog who knits hats. When not making hats, she watches reruns of Project Runway. You know, again, she has almost like a wool look to her face. She's got the hat. It's a very female looking dog. So every every part of it, there's a story, and then the story is told again in the picture. So what you're going to do is you're going to do your own um, project dog. What you're going to do is you're going to take a picture, and I have, I have my two dogs. You're going to take a picture of a dog. You can use a dog you have, because if you want to, you know your personality of your dogs, or you can choose a dog online if you have like a certain type of dog, you know, you want to do a Frenchie or something. You're going to get your picture, and then you're going to think about the personality of this dog. If it's a dog you have, then you would know the personality. If it's um, a dog you pick, then you're gonna have to come up with a story, and you are going to write the story. So a three to five sentence story about this dog. It needs to have enough information about the character, the char personality or the characteristics of this dog to give it a story for your picture. Once you're done writing the story, then you're to decide on the visuals to add to the stylized of your picture. So if you have a grumpy dog, like these are my two dogs, Wolfie and Vinny. Wolfie is a very grumpy dog. I think of him as my old man dog. So when I drew his picture, I thought about, you know, what would a grumpy dog wear? Would he have like old reading glasses would he be snuggled in like an old sweater because he's always grumpy and he sleeps all the time or he snuggles in his chair so think about what visual characteristics would go with your dog for as vincent which is my other one you know he's a very 
nosy dog who wants to be a part of everything. He's very social. I kind of think of him as a pretty boy. So, you know, with his story, I thought about, you know, if he was a person, he would be the type of dog who would always have like his house parties where he invited people over and, you know, he wanted to know all the gossip. So what would, what would that type of dog look like if you put the visuals on there? Would he, you know, I think of nosy people as being like investigators. So I gave him like the little, the little eyeglass or whatever. So think about what can you add to yours to give them the look of what your dog's personality is. You're going to think about, she does a lot of extras. Like on this example, you know, is he like a, a tough dog? Would he have an eye patch? Is he old? Does he have the glasses or intellectual? You know, a hat, goggles. Is he an explorer? Is he always like running around trying to figure stuff out? You know, all these little extras, hats. What type of clothing would they have? Like one of hers has, oh, a little a little ascot, like a little tuxedo type of thing with a little top hat. So what type of outfit would they wear? Like just a little extra, one or two things. Like mine, just this one just has like the little, little outfit that he would have. And like the little glasses are here, just with the grumpy dog. He'd have, you know, his little glasses because he's too old, can't read. His little snuggly sweater because he's just, you know, he's snuggling all the time. So what would they have to make them, give them that personality? Once you have your dog drawn, what you're gonna do, you're gonna look up a photo of that type of dog. Again, you have that already. Focus on the basic characteristics of that breed. Like this one is the, you know, they have the, the little beard, the eyebrows, longer, longer ears. Beard, eyebrows, longer ears. That's the focus of this breed. These are kind of similar breeds. So they have the same thing, but this one's has a thicker face, you know, his brow, his headline's a little lower. With, like I said, these examples of these, you can tell this is like a Great Dane. He's got the longer, wider nose, a little French. He has the, the jaw lines, schnauzer, longer pointed ears. So the characteristics of your dog, the breed you have should show up in your example. So you, you should be able to pick that in your, in your picture. You can go back and see, very simple, you know, what shape is the nose? What shape is the, uh, you know, the mouth? What type of eyes? You know, does the nose lead back? Do they have thick eyebrows? You know, the basic stuff is, is easy to put into, into your picture. Once you have it drawn and outlined with Sharpie, then you're going to use watercolor. We have some basic choices. You have your your um, metallics and your your um, basic colors. I did most of mine in metallic. You can kind of see it if you look at the shine, but I did mix it with some regular colors. When you do your mixing, I'll, I ha I'll have the video of how to use a watercolor, but when you do your mixing, remember, always mix on here. Don't, don't mix on here because you don't want to contaminate the colors. You mix on here, get the colors you want. You can do some scrap paper to see what colors you need. Then once you have it and you've drawn it all out, then you're gonna do like um, Cindy Bauer Dower did. You're gonna have that secondary bit of pattern that really makes it kind of stand out. She has a lot of swirls, dots, some flowers, depending on you know lines, whatever that secondary pattern is, you're gonna go in and you can, I mean, I'm just showing you like a piece of scrap, but then you're gonna use you know, the markers. You'll go in, there's some thin, there's some thick. I didn't even get out the other one. But then you'll go in and do, you know, a bit of a pattern within that area. You can see, you know, you'll do your pattern within the shape. Some of them can be very wide space. Some of them could be narrow, depending on what you wanna do. It can be an advanced pattern you know, there on mine. Some of them could be, you know, this one's a very small pattern here. This is a very wide pattern. This is like very spread. I kind of just threw it in three areas just so it wasn't a solid block of area. On his nose, it's very, very detailed. The background is very detailed. And then some, you know, right here, or even on, on his shirt, you can barely see it, but there's a thin, thin line. 
that from far away you can't even see. You know, you've got your polka dots. So think about how your pattern, do you have contrast? Do you wanna have a complex to a basic? Do you have one something that's very light that blends in or something that kind of stands out? So you gotta kind of think about how that works and you gotta throw it all together. And these aren't going to be very big. They're gonna be a smaller, not trading card small, but they're going to be a smaller, a smaller work of art. So again, Cindy Dower is her name. The blog you'll look up to see her stuff is The Slumbering Herd, and it's under her artist trading card, Dogs Project. You will um, basically research a dog. You'll find the dog you want. You'll look up a picture, whatever the case may be. Then you're going to tell a story about that dog. I would start with, like she did with the name, like I was thinking for him, it could be like Vincent Vaughn Snoops a lot or something because he's so nosy. But then you'll tell the story, three to five sentences about the story, and then that story will help you come up with ideas. Because once you have a story, nosy, wants to be a part of everything, um, that will give you the detail for what to put in the things. Because you know he's likes to likes to have you know people over, inquisitive, you know likes to sew with that one where she had the hat. Once you have the story then that helps you come up with your ideas for the picture. Then you'll draw the picture, paint, Sharpie, and then you'll have your finished product.